So we just had a baby calf pass away here on the ranch just a couple of minutes ago. Um, it's one that was small when it was born and uh, we managed to keep her alive for um, over 24 hours, almost 48 hours, which is accomplishment, which, it, which is an accomplishment in itself, but it's not. It's not something you like dealing with, but you have to. And the bad part is that there's another calf out there that needs your help almost right away. So you can't wallow. You just have to keep going. Sometimes you don't want to. Please don't die on me. Holy hey, is there any chance I can get some help? Now well, we're over here this close to the barn. Uh, we're actually going to swing in and take a look at our newest arrival. This will be that little white face calf that we had in yesterday's video. She seems to be doing okay. I'm not horribly optimistic. I'm giving her like a 50-50 chance. Uh, she's not really sucking on a bottle yet. We've had to tube her a couple more times. We've gotten her to eat a little bit from a bottle, but she doesn't really have the energy to do that. Uh, we've, we've given her antibiotics. Uh, we've given her respiratory medication. Uh, she's had uh, pretty much, she had the multi-min shot that you guys saw us give her yesterday. Uh, that's the minerals and vitamins. So there's not a whole lot more that we can really do for her. We're just hoping that her uh, organ function catches up and, and that she's able to pick this up and, and be able to get all the nutrients that she needs from the colostrum which we finally did find for her in yesterday's video and now uh, she's on the milk replacer so we're hoping that she picks up some energy but uh, let's go take a look at her and see how she's doing today there she is taking a little rest and like I said, we're, we're doing pretty much everything we can for her. She's just so small. And the uh, organ function may actually not be where it's supposed to be uh, for her. But she's still alive up till this point, which is great. And uh, she can hold her head up. She's a little drooly. But she's more alert than I thought she would be at this point. So that's always a good thing. She's just really skinny. Just get some rest. You take it easy. If we do get her out of this, I do think it's gonna be a miracle. But to be honest, miracles are what ranchers and farmers are good at. Uh, it's, it's the perseverance and, and just the, the never say die attitude. Unless something actually dies, then we kind of have to say die. But that was a joke. Not the best, but I can admit sometimes you have to make yourself laugh. This job can be the most wonderful thing in the world. And I'm, I'm not just talking about ranching. I'm talking about ranching and being able to bring you along with me via YouTube and videos just like this one. I hope that you can take a minute to subscribe and continue to follow along as, it, as hard as it, it can be sometimes. For me, the real hard part of the last couple of days has been this little calf. Uh, she passed away last night before I edited the video that you hopefully watched yesterday. So I had to stare at images of her and listen to myself talk about her condition and, yep, even make a joke, all knowing that she was already gone. 
we concluded uh, with the help of our vet that her being born at 39 pounds, her lungs were not fully formed. She was unable to exchange oxygen in her bloodstream as efficiently as she should have been able to. And also with the multiple symptoms she had from weakness to heavy breathing, there could have been actual congenital issues as well, meaning that other physical abnormalities were probably present from birth. She had an extremely hard life. The whole 46 hours of it was no fun. And while her end was very, very sad, she was not alone. And in all reality, it was probably more of a blessing than a curse. This year, while calving during the 30 and 30, we've lost two calves, a male and a female. The female, of course, is the one that we just spoke about and dealt with over the last couple of days. The male was huge. He, was a, he had a very tough birth, which uh, strained his system enough that he couldn't recover. Neither is anything that you want to deal with over and over again. It'll strain you and your ability to carry on. My worst season here on the ranch was long before YouTube, but we lost almost 20 calves in a very, very short time, mostly due to a, a massive snowstorm in the following days. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. And it was those days that now, oddly enough, keep me going. Emotionally, it's not easy and it never will be, but for each life lost, there are way more that rely on us to keep breathing. And we do move on and we keep doing what we do. After a calf dies, it's not easy to forget the feelings that we have, the hours and sometimes days that we spend trying to do everything we can for that little animal who has no control over where she is or what's happening to her. We then second guess everything we did and we wonder if we could have done more and we promise ourselves that next time we'll do better. That's the emotional side of things, which I hope every producer has and nurtures. It's way too easy to get concentrated on the flip side, which is the monetary side of the whole deal. How much does losing a calf cost the ranch? Well, it's easy and not so easy to answer because it depends on the sex of the calf. A male calf or a bull will eventually be castrated and become a steer. That steer will then be weaned and will head into our feedlot system. About a year later, he'll be finished and butchered and packaged and eventually sold online and in our on-site farm store. So a male calf, if it passes away before that point, we can figure that the ranch lost an income of about $3,000 approximately. That doesn't count for all the food, water, and even time that went into him. That's just a top end number. Every steer on the ranch worth three grand. Simple and easy. A heifer or a female calf is slightly more complicated because they hopefully never leave the ranch. They end, well, they do eventually, but they hope they never leave the ranch. They enter our breeding herd and produce more calves, both boys and girls for the ranch. Let's say a cow is in the breeding herd for nine years. Over that time, she could have eight calves. Let's say that she has a 50-50 split between boys and girls. She has four boys and four girls. The boys, we know, are worth $3,000 a piece, so there's twelve grand right there of income. And those four girls, they stay on the ranch, too, for another eight years each, having four boys and four girls a piece. And now that's 16 male cows worth $48,000 altogether. Our original mom has now earned the ranch $50,000 in less than 20 years. So yeah, losing a calf is a monetary loss. And the easiest way to recoup your loss is to replace that calf that you lose. But the big question here is, when do you replace her? If we went and got a new heifer calf right now, let's say she's a bottle calf, and we got her for $500, we now have to feed her until she's ready to breed. That means milk replacer, eventually grass and hay. That milk replacer is the big portion of the cost. That's the powdered milk that we use to feed our calves for the first 90 days or so of their lives. And it's not cheap. A 50 pound bag will cost you about a hundred bucks. Each day that calf will eat four bottles until you can wean her off. So we know that four bottles is about two and a half pounds of milk replacer per day. That's five bags 
or $500 and milk replace her alone for her first 90 days of life. At this point, we now have $1,000 into this calf. Of course, she's potentially worth $50,000 over the next 20 years. I'd say that's a pretty good investment. We start feeding her hay from the ranch at, uh, when she's weaned, and at this point she's out eating grass, so we can now say that roughly that $1,000 is a pretty solid number for the total cost for this new heifer on the ranch. But there are other options. What if we just wait and buy a heifer at auction in the fall? Well, I went back and I looked at a sale from October of 2022. Heifer calves weighing 523 pounds brought $2.23 a pound at a cost of uh, $1,166 each. A little more expensive than our raised bottle calf, but pretty close to the same price point, almost as if somebody has figured this all out in advance. Well, I'll spare you the suspense. And I'll tell you what we did. This little girl is our new bottle calf. And we purchased her today to take the place of the one that we lost in the last night. We found her at a friend's ranch about 20 miles away. And we are very thankful that she is now here. Aren't we? Yes, we are. Turns out that her mom couldn't take care of her, so it's now our job. Besides, Brutus needs a friend. And we need a win. And we'll take it. Internet, meet Bella, our newest bottle calf, imported from to the ranch from the Collins Road and the Barber Place. Our hope is that she can be a part of the ranch for her time here, her many daughters' time here, and for well past even 20 years. You know, now that I think about it, our kids and maybe even their kids will know the result of the last few days. We lost one calf this week but we now have gained dozens over the years. Hard times always lead to something great, if you're willing to see it. And eventually, they define you. Thank you very much for being a part of this year's 30 and 30 as we head into the second half of it. And I want to remind you <laughs> that it's not just ranching we do from the heart. It's everything. I'll see you tomorrow on our Wyoming Life. I bet you're ready for a bottle, aren't you?